So it's the first day of Cheltenham yesterday, and uh, I thought it went pretty well, actually. I was quite surprised. And usually Tuesdays are the days when I sort of, not mess around, that's the wrong words to use, but I test and probe the market. And when I started doing that yesterday, it was apparent that everything was, you know, flowing pretty nicely. So I just got on with it, basically. And um, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Now, I'm going to check the stats and stuff later. I haven't had time to do that this morning. I've taken some time out this morning just to... Uh, enjoy myself and relax and get ready for today but on the face of what I saw yesterday you know it looks like it could be a good week I think the surprising thing was is that usually Tuesday are pretty weak and then it builds as the week goes on now obviously I can't I can make a stab at forecasting what's going to happen but I can't say for definite that you know it gets better from here on in but typically that's the way that it works Tuesday is usually the weakest day and then it builds as we go through the week there was nothing particularly unusual about the markets yesterday. Everything seems to be pretty much the same as I've seen in other Cheltenhams. Um, I won money on every race apart from the first, and that was because on the first race, the market was trading as you'd sort of expect, but just uh, before the offer went whoop, and, and that it cost me a profit, basically. I uh, went from a reasonable profit into a loss, and it was only, it was only a small loss, about £23, or, or thereabouts. But um, all of the other races worked just fine. And as soon as I realized that the markets were performing pretty well, I just put my foot down and really went for it. So I got some really good totals um, yesterday. And um, if you look at the blog, you can see one of them. But there was a whole string of races that just worked beautifully. So, you know, it put me in a really good mood. I'm pretty optimistic about the rest of the week. And, you know, if the rest of the week goes the same as it did yesterday, then it could be very good indeed. But, you know, I'm always keen to sort of temper my enthusiasm when things go well. Uh, but also if things go badly, I'm, you know, not uh, going to get too depressed about that as well. It's all about getting things in moderation. So if I have a really good day, I don't suddenly think that I'm a god and you know, I can trample all over the markets. So I'll still approach today in a similar manner to yesterday, but I'll probably, you know, do it with a bit more confidence now. And if yesterday would have been much lower, then... I, you know, I would have not necessarily been that much more cautious today, but I would have approached it in a slightly different manner, perhaps just, you know, keeping on top of things and only going for stuff when I realized that uh, it was really going to work. But uh, one of the things that y you'll notice is like my smallest loss um, yesterday was 20, I think it was 23 or 25. I can't remember exactly what, it's quite small. But my biggest gain I put on the blog for you. But, you know, I go for consistency. So I'm trying to get... Um, a good result at the least possible risk if I, if I can. Sometimes you have to push that a bit, but typically the way that I achieve that is I'll go into a situation, I'll actively trade it, and then if I have some profit to, to work from, then I'll start to get a bit more aggressive. So if things go really well and the profit builds quickly, uh, then I'll get very aggressive on that. But if things don't go well, um, then nothing really happens. But that's the way that I very often manage risk in these situations is if I feel that it's going well, then I'll really put my foot down. But if it isn't going well, then I generally don't. I'll just look for a way into the market and try and build on that. Um, so as a consequence, you know, my P&L is distorted heavily in, in one direction, the right direction. And I tend to not let losses get too big. So if something isn't trading particularly well, then I'll just, you know, I'll just throttle back a bit, re reduce stakes, make sure that, you know, I'm not doing anything seriously wrong or that the market isn't behaving uh, the way that it should do. But if everything goes well, then I just stick my foot right down and off I go and uh, really start to trade it aggressively. So, yeah, day one uh, worked really well. Um, I'm hoping the same for day two. And if today goes well, then maybe I can build on things and, you know, put in a really, really good week. But, you know, open-minded. Let's see how today goes. The card looks pretty good. So there's plenty of volume around and the market's traded, you know, fairly predictably yesterday. So I'm expecting more of the same today, hopefully. But you can never quite tell. But I'm going to go out there and do my best and keep a lid on the amount of risk that I'm taking, but push forward when I see the opportunity. So it's interesting. I was thinking yesterday that um, if you go back over it, you can look in the blog uh, during March. You can see that Betfair have very often had site issues in the run up to Cheltenham. But uh, to their credit this year, there hasn't been a hint of any issues and everything has traded, you know, without a problem. Haven't had any major issues. Um, I'm obviously tuning and uh, homing settings to make sure that everything's as efficient as possible. But, you know, I haven't seen the hint of problems. So, you know, must give credit where it's due. Uh, 
the Betfair site has held up pretty well. Um, I traded on Betfair and BetDAC yesterday and, uh, you know, everything was just fine. And I tried three or four strategies as well because it's important on the smaller days to go out and just test and prod and probe the market. And all of those strategies worked as well. So it's one of those unusual days where everything you touch pretty much worked. Um, you know, is that going to happen today? I don't know, but I'll uh, certainly give it a try. I'll see if I can give you a video update as we go through Chatham as well. But obviously it's a busy uh, week, so I'm not sure that I can. But I'll see if I can nip in and, and give you a few minutes if I can to tell you what's happening and how things are progressing. But anyway, good start. Let's hope it continues. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial?